As of tonight, two buildings in Salem are nothing but rubble. The city spent roughly $235,000 on the project. And as 27 First News reporter Greta Mederator learned, this work might not be the end. Plenty of people watch as a crew knocked down the old Rossetti's Bakery building on East State Street in Salem. Earlier this week, they demolished the Tanfastic building right next to it. Those who own the bakery also own the building on its left. It is structurally sound but suffered damage during the demolition process today. They will fix the side of that building that will be exposed so that it looked nice and is you know, not an eyesore for the city. I'm told that part of the street could reopen as early as next week after the crew clears the area of debris. As for the future of this site, that's still up in the air. We really don't know. I mean, like I said, the property that the Tanfastic building stands on is still in litigation. So we have to wait and see what happens with that before anything can be done in that space. And it's only about 18 feet width for the Rossetti building, which is coming down now. It is quite dusty down here in Salem as they tear down this second building on East State Street. The concern, though, is what's happening with the third building over there. We've had our insurance people in, and uh, yesterday they had their structural engineers come through. John Tontai is part of the Salem Art Institute, which owns the building. It used to be a Butler Art Museum branch. He'd like to save it, but he's still waiting for the insurance company's full assessment. I don't know that they actually may want to come back and look again. Uh, as this building has now come down, it might have some other impact, but I'm not sure of that. In Salem, I'm Greta Mitterrader, WKBN 27 First News. While crews knocked a building in Salem down, another is being restored. The Courtyard Square is right down the way on East State Street. The historic building houses several shops, restaurants, and other businesses. Salem native Scott Cahill and his wife Lisa bought it a couple years ago. They spent a lot of time renovating the inside and bringing in new tenants. The Cahills are behind the Save Downtown Salem project. Salem has great potential. It's got beautiful architecture, magnificent history, and Salem is in an absolute renaissance now. I think that uh, I think that I actually picked the perfect time to invest in in downtown Salem. They're finishing work now on a fine dining restaurant and a sports bar. Those are expected to open by late May.